Hey, Terraria fans, welcome back to another World Tour video. Guys, in this one, we have two really awesome builds, and I'm actually really happy with how both of these turned out. So if you didn't guess already, the first one is our McDonald's build, which is already posted up on the YouTube channel. And of course, the second one is a barber shop, which I don't know, I just, as I was building, I just really liked the way this turned out as well. Now, I'm a little biased. I tend to like a lot of the builds that I make, but what can you do? Now, guys, if you are enjoying the builds even half as much as I am, please feel free to hit that like, subscribe, or that little dinner bell thingy so you can know when the next video hits the old YouTube universe. Now, with that being said, let's not take up any more of our precious time. Let's jump into the builds, shall we? All right, folks, so here we are at our first build. This is going to be the McDonald's build, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the materials I used to build it. So as you can see, guys, there's a lot of materials that you don't often see here. Specifically, you're gonna see some midnight confetti wall. We use these for some of the screens that we had in the build. Also use some tin brick wall, which again, not a common one that I use. Fairly simple to put in, especially when you paint it white or gray. You'll also see some pumpkin, some granite platforms, some different gem spark blocks, which are used in different ways, but I don't use them frequently. And then some logic gates and some logic lamps we also use some silly pink balloon and then some adamantite beam and we added um, some slime tables and slime chairs that i don't often use in my build as well so guys as always if you have any questions about this feel free to leave a comment down below i also encourage you to pause the video here so you can get a better look at all the different paints and all the different blocks and materials that we did use all right with the base materials cover guys let's get to the build so we're going to start with the most natural part of the build which is going to be the arches because when you see a mcdonald's you see the arches so guys this was part of the fun for me making this large sort of standing arch or sign um nothing really crazy here this is a lot of just playing around with some of the different blocks and angling them to make them look like something so the main beam here is palladium column that we made into um, a white color and just kind of made it thinner initially it was going to be a bit wider but it looks fairly good and then we put some platforms across and then we put some uh red gem spark in the background so this is ruby gem spark uh some ropes to kind of cut it off and then we also so then obviously put some of our gem spark block here in the shape of an arrow uh, for the M it's the same thing gem spark block this all this one's obviously the topaz one and then just shaped it into an M now this actually took a little while to get the right shape but you get the right sort of feel from it and I actually really like the way this turned out so we go a little to our left here is of course the main building and design and I just like the way this turned out I went with the more modern building feel as opposed to maybe the more classic McDonald's build in part because uh, you know the only McDonald's I ever see and go to are the ones that look like this so I figure why not in any case guys the thing that I think is the most interesting right off the bat when you walk in of course is the staircase um, we try to go with sort of a double staircase with railings I don't often build this and I think it has the right effect and I think I may use this again in the future we went with a little bit of a raised platform here we have our tin brick that separates out we put a little bit of a table there and then we kind of came up uh, for the lights guys we used rope with some granite uh, platforms and it just looks sort of like well lights and even though it doesn't actually give off any light I figured it was a pretty good start and I just like the way that this kind of looks so we went with that throughout the build as you can see now over here is probably my favorite part of this entire build we actually put down a menu now some of you are probably wondering where the heck is the ribs for the McRib I didn't think about that till later, but as always guys, I don't correct any of my builds after the fact, but uh, we have a lot of cool little items here and this is surrounded by an adamantite beam. So it just kind of looks like a menu. Uh, we put our item frames here and then we obviously grab fries and nuggets and ice cream and drinks and burgers. And I just really like the way this looks. I think it adds a really cool element and makes it look like this is where you stand to order. Um, we also put a little white piggy bank and some cups here that we just sort of painted red. Uh, and a little trash can as well and it just has a nice little kind of feel to it. it's kind of like you walk in you order your food and then you might take a seat but guys we don't have time to sit down because we need to go check up upstairs where again this build continues again nothing crazy with the design itself uh here we have a silly uh we have the silly balloon here going across painted white there's a silly pink balloon painted white kind of gives it a cleaner look um and then over here guys are just dynasty coming across then we went with boreal uh, for the horizontal pieces and I believe this is ebon wood um, for the uh, vertical pieces I could be wrong about that it might actually be shade wood but someone can correct me on that one and of course we went with our sort of again gem spark red wall in the background 
um, just to, yeah, have that all McDonald's coloring. And again, same thing with the M, a smaller M, obviously with the arches. It's a little hard for me to do the shape sometimes, but I think this one looks pretty good. So for the roof here, guys, very simple. We went with a granite platform that just goes across. We did it in layers here. I don't know if it was necessary, but I think I liked how this looks. So I put in three just to kind of equalize it a bit. Uh, and then here, I think we went with our boreal uh, wood wall in the background and just painted that gray as well. And it just kind of gives it a very clean look. So over here, guys, of course, we had to spell out McDonald's. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why is it so uneven? Well, um, it's as small as I could make it and still make it legible. So yeah, uh, I think you could have made the S a little smaller and maybe open this up a bit. The N was a little awkward as well, but you can kind of get the gist of it. And someone initially recommended just using little statues that are letters. I didn't like the way that looked. I wanted this to be a little bit brighter and more interesting. So we spelt it out manually and it's okay. So down below guys, I tried to go with the illusion of an entrance. We put a bunch of glass doors, surrounded that with an adamantite beam painted brown and just kind of left it. But it kind of has the right effect. I think if we could have maybe taken this background out a bit more, or changed it or darkened it or done something, it might've felt a little bit more kind of like it was in your face or perhaps we could have darkened all of this a bit. In any case, I think it has the right effect, but I think there was a couple pieces missing that we might've added. I don't know what those are, but this would have been a nice way to put it together. Finally, off to the left, guys, we made a sort of seating area. Now, I realize there is no door here because I didn't want this to uh, open up to the outside. I wanted this to be the main entrance. So again, it's not the most practical aspect. So for the umbrella, we actually made this out of a couple of different materials. We went with some silly uh, balloon. So this is silly pink balloon that we painted different colors, uh, I believe. And then we also did some pumpkin. Uh, and then we did our logic gate here. And it just is a simple sort of design that I've been tinkering with. And this one looks okay. There's a few others that I think I prefer when I just make it purely out of pumpkin, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. And that's really all there is. So again, guys, a lot of different shapes, a lot of different design elements, but the actual putting it up together is just a lot of simple stuff. So you can see it's kind of an open concept with a modern feel. And I actually think it kind of represents McDonald's fairly well, in my opinion, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. So that'll do it for this build, guys. We're going to go ahead and move on to the second build. So here we are at the second build. As always, I'm going to walk you through very quickly all of the materials that you'll need. So again, you can see there's quite a lot of materials and different paints, but do not be overwhelmed, guys. Really the only unique things that you may not typically use are gonna be our copper brick wall. And then of course, our gem spark walls. Uh, we used here, we use our amethyst and our amber ones. Uh, that's just for our kind of offline looking windows. Now, the other thing that we used that was unique was green candy cane. And now you'll see where this is very quickly because it's very noticeable. It's just your typical barbershop kind of thing, but that is painted, of course, our blue and red. And other than that, guys, a little bit of minecart track and some granite platforms. And that's really all there is. There's nothing too, too, too unique. Uh, fairly simple. Um, and uh, yeah, I encourage you to pause here, guys, if you want to see the materials a bit more closely. But of course, guys, if you don't know anything or if you have questions about any of these things, just leave me a comment down below and I'll get back to you. All right. So with those materials out of the way, let's get to the build. Guys, so here we are at our barber shop build and I am a fan. So as you can see, guys, obviously the first kind of thing that stands out to you is going to be little barbershop emblem or whatever this is. There's a name for this, but this thing stands out a lot. We use some marble here, uh, and then we also use our candy cane here. So the marble is painted white. We used a glass wall in the background, and we simply just attached uh, the candy cane between and then alternated painting it uh, blue and red. And it looks pretty good. It's a bit bigger than maybe it needs to be for this build, but I just really like the way it looks. The actual house guys, we went with a pretty standard design for our stairs and for the house, I think. Um, you know, the stairs is just our bamboo uh, wall painted white. We went with our minecart track here just to be looking like a railing. And then we went with our fence on either side to kind of bracket it and make it look like it's a bit of a 3D stairs. Uh, for the walls and the backgrounds, guys, this is just simply dynasty wood, or sorry, dynasty wall, I should say, uh, which is white. And we went with individual little uh, chairs to get your haircut. And so we went with kind of neat little features here, like a uh, pair of scissors that are in there. We also went with some mirrors. Now this is um, Silly Balloon, I believe painted, uh, I believe this is painted gray or possibly white. It's just darker and that's actuated. So I believe this is white and then actuated. And then just supposed to look like mirrors for everyone that's getting their haircut. Now here is where we used our copper brick wall as well. This is kind of separating out the top and the top uh, part of our window from the background wall. And I think it kind of looks a little bit like a rolled up curtain. So it's not too bad, uh, but we went with the actual curtains with the green banners anyways. Uh, but again, just a different little bit of a design element, something that I don't typically use. And I thought it looked fairly 
really decent. So it's a little bit more bare up here, but the idea was to make it look a little bit more distinct from the bottom uh, area. And then of course, just focus a little bit more on having this look like, you know, it's been lived in. So we went with our ebon stone wall and some vertical uh, pieces were our um, ebon wood wall. Uh, and then we just went with some wood going across and connecting into our little doorway. Now for the doorway, I do like the way this looks and I've done this a few times, but this is basically just our ebon stone painted gray. And then we put in some rich mahogany in here, but this is from the living mahogany. So this is um, from the wand painted that great as well, and then put a granite platform across the top. So once you actuate all this, it kind of looks like a more intricate doorway that then of course you can teleport upstairs to. And the upstairs one guys is kind of an interesting one. The reason we left all these windows is this is effectively what we're looking at as like sort of a VIP area to get your hair cut. I mean, if that even exists, but the idea is it's more of a private one. There's more natural light. It's nicer. And uh, yeah, we just, again, kept the same elements from downstairs and just brought them up here. Now, if you're looking at any of the roofs, guys, you'll notice that there's a lot kind of going on here. Uh, here we use some granite platform again. I think we hammered this down into the bottom position. Then we actually outlined all of this uh, roof with the uh, shingles. And so we painted these, I believe these are painted teal, but I could be wrong, uh, but painted a blue of your choosing or cyan perhaps. Uh, and then we did the same with the hive wall just to match. And so the nice thing here is that this kind of gives it a more interesting effect for the roofs. And I just like the way it looks. And finally, guys, here we made a little window. This is again, granite uh, platform painted gray. This is some of our uh, mahogany fence painted gray. And then we actually went with our, this is where we went with our alternating gem sparks here with our amethyst and our amber. And we just left that like that. And it has that kind of window look effect to it. And I actually been using this a bit more and I do like the way it looks. Uh, and it's just a cool little thing you can do to make your roofs or other areas of a build look a little bit more distinct. So guys, this build is definitely compact and interesting. It's also got a lot of details I think get overlooked. So, you know, like I said, those roofs are just unique in their own way and different. The little door frames for the, where you teleport upstairs are interesting. Keeping the attic an attic, and then also keeping little details for actual barbershop things like the red chairs and the consistency. Like those things make your build look a little bit more interesting. Now, that being said, guys, obviously, what really makes this build is our little barbershop um, icon thingy outside. It just it just helps so much. It makes you know what it is and gives it the final sort of touch. And then we just added small details outside as well. But yeah, that'll basically do it for this build. All right, folks, so there you go. There are our two builds for the day. So if you're slinging burgers at McDonald's or you're getting your hair cut at the barber, I hope you're getting some inspiration, guys, out of these builds because that is the whole point. So let me know if you have any ideas for either of these builds for your next build or your next world. And as always, guys, thumbs if you liked it, thumbs if you loved it. We will see you in the next one.